Welcome friends, I'm Meredith, better known around the internet as Mare of All Trades, and today I have a, a Stitch Fix box to share with you. Uh, they gave me a rather quick turnaround fix, so we're gonna go ahead and see what I got sent. And of course we have to do lipstick of the day. This one's from Charlotte Tilbury, and it is the color Walk of No Shame. It's a personal favorite, and I really enjoy this one. All right, now, let's see what we got in my box. I have to say the bundle was rather small this time. Now I know it's summer and you know they take up less space and yada 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 but there you are. All right so we have our mail back bag of course if you haven't uh you know don't know Stitch Fix they do send you a USPS mail back bag which I love because anything I don't like I can just send back in the mail. You of course get a price sheet which we'll look at later and style cards and a note from your stylist. I did get a new stylist this time. I didn't specifically request Request a new one but it looks like Tamara um, is the one who styled this fix so we'll see what she sent and let's take a look at the bundle and we'll put this over here all right so here is what the bundle looks like so quite dark really yeah mostly mostly blue and mostly dark all right let's dig in so have you guys been getting uh, fixes throughout the summer or have you guys been sort of taking a break from Stitch Fix? Let me know. All right, so first up, it looks like we have a sports bra. This is from MPG Sport, the Exert Mesh Back Performance Bra in Teal Green. So that's nice that it has some extra breathability in the back. <laughs> um, I don't know about you guys, but it's 93 degrees and we have a heat advisory, so you know, a little breathability is a good thing. It's a very, very dark uh, teal. Like, so dark that it almost looks like it's coming across black on camera. <laughs> but looks good. It does have a little bit of a cutout detail there in the back as well. And I would say this one is definitely going to be more of a for comfort versus support, I have a feeling. But I don't necessarily mind that if I'm just chilling at home. We'll see how it fits. Next up we have, okay, this one's from Gaim. Uh, it's in an extra large. I did keep the Gaim tank top that is teal colored from my last fix. Um, it's a very washed out, heathered blue. It does actually have some really open woven side detail. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that for myself personally. Um, I'm sure it'll be nice and breathable, but. I don't know it does have it like almost like burnout very worn detail on it next this one looks like it's just straight up black this one is from mpg sport so just a really lightweight racer back solid mm, tank okay yeah this is a very like athletic wear fix I wonder if it's all that way. Another tank top, also from MPG Sport. Hang on. They sent me the exact same tank in black and in navy. Okay. All right, so MPG Sport, it's another Racerback tank. It's literally just the navy version of the black tank. This is the Bounce Scoop Neck Tank. In two colors. This stylist was really uh, working hard. Okay, and then the last item is the Thread for Thoughts Reactive Responsibly Made from Recycled Materials. I appreciate that. Uh, a pair of leggings. And does it say if they're cropped or not? No, the Diaz Moto legging. Oh, okay. All right, so we've got the Moto detail here on the bottom of the leg. Uh, the fabric feels nice. It definitely has some good stretch. So we will try it on. But yeah, navy pants, navy tank, black tank, really worn out navy blue tank, and a sports bra. And two of the tanks are the same. I don't feel like the stylist tried very hard on this one. Not trying to be mean or anything, but um, all right, let's go ahead and try it on and see what we think. All right, so I have on the first outfit, I layered up three of the items together, the threads for thought, 
Leggings are $64. The both versions of the MPG Sport Bounce Scoop Neck Tank are $24 a piece. And the MPG Sport Exert Mesh Back Performance Bra in teal green is $34. So some reasonable prices. So the black tank is just a basic black tank. Um, it's a scoop neck, but I don't feel like it's a uh, particularly low cut scoop neck, which might be nice if you're working out to not have to worry about how much is showing. Um, I think it's fine. I feel like it could be a little longer, but it's not a bad length. Um, there we are. Here's what it looks like in the back. Hopefully you can see the difference between the tank and the sports bra. Okay, so let's talk about these leggings. I'm going to tilt you guys down just a smidgen here. So here are the leggings. Um, the fit through the waist and the hip and the booty and the thighs is fine. The length is a little bit long, so it's really bunching up at the bottom where that moto detail is. So, I mean, I have better fitting leggings. So I don't think I feel the need to keep these. The moto detail is a nice touch, but um, anyone who is going to wear these leggings needs to be about three inches longer in the legs, I think, than I am, or at least two. <laughs> so uh, the leggings are past, the tank is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the sports bra detail. So here is what the sports bra looks like. I wish it came over a little more right here. Um, it's soft and comfortable, but I don't feel like it has a ton of support. It does have a padded cup area, which is, uh, looks like it's adjustable and removable. Here's what the back looks like. So I think the fit on this is okay, but it's nothing amazing. It's nice and comfy. So for lounging around the house, just with a tank top, I might consider it. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and try on those other tanks for you guys. So the tank I have on is the Gaim Posey Performance Tank in blue. It is an extra large and it's $34. So as far as this tank goes, I think the fit is pretty good. It comes down uh, a little bit longer, which I like. It's a little looser than the last one, but not sloppy big, so that's good. Um, the armholes are quite large and then the crisscrossing fabric uh, does have some cutouts. So you definitely can see skin through it which I think you guys will be able to see on camera. Um, so, you know, it's definitely something there where you would need to be comfortable, you know, showing a little bit of your skin through. Although I don't feel like it shows a ton, so it's kind of nice as far as when it's like 93 degrees out, you might want that. Um, and then this side is just nothing but tags, so you can't really see anything. I have a lot of tags on these clothes. <laughs> so yeah, I think this one's nice. I would consider it, what do you guys think? I don't actually have uh, many navy blue workout tops, so who knows, maybe it's a contender. All right, and item number five is the navy blue version of the MPG Sport tank. I think it's nice. I think the fabric is uh, lightweight and breathable. I think it's a good basic tank to layer or not layer, <laughs> depending on how, you, uh, how your weather is. So yeah, I think this is okay. I think it's, you know, just a nice basic. Here's what the back looks like. So yeah. Okay, so what did we think of this fix? <laughs> I feel like the stylist didn't really try. I think she was maybe just in a rush because they were offering a quicker fix and just click, click, clicked and they, you know, was just like, yeah, this is in her size, this is in her size. I don't feel like she took the time to look at my profile and what I like. Um, it just felt rushed, maybe, or just lack of inventory and was like, this is what we got, you're getting an athletic fix. I didn't specifically ask for athletic wear, so I'm kind of surprised that it was nothing but athletic wear. It's not, you know, an issue or a problem or anything, but just kind of surprising since I didn't request that. That's okay. Um, honestly, I think the only thing that I'm really thinking I might keep would be that crisscrossed side tank. If you guys think the fit was good, I'm gonna watch the footage back, of course, and see if I think that it looks good, um, you know, not while staring into the viewfinder. Um, but yeah, I think everything else, maybe the sports bra.
but everything else will probably go back because I'm just not either I don't need it or just isn't quite the right fit so yeah my stylist pick subtotal was $180 so not too bad the buy all five discount which I'm not going to do is $45 which would make it $135 which is a pretty inexpensive fix as far as stitch fix prices go uh, yeah. until next time guys don't forget to like subscribe and ring the bell um, I'll pop up some videos I did a uh, skincare review video of facial serums and face oils so if that interests you I'll be sure to pop that in the iCards as well Till next time don't forget to like subscribe and ring the bell you know I'll be talking to you soon bye guys